Hey everyone, this is Anton. We are here in Berlin at the LG booth in IPA and we are taking a look at the LG G-Pad 8.3. Let's check it out. If you mistake this with the LG G2, you are right. This looks like an LG G2, which is not a bad thing necessarily. And this feels like somewhat premium tablet because of the aluminum on the back, which you can see it is real aluminum. It blends in with the white plastic surrounding it. Of course, this is the white version. There's also a black version, which we don't have here, but uh, you can know exactly how the black one looks. The aluminum is a little bit darker. This is natural aluminum. The other one is anodized. Coming up to the front, this screen is an 8.3 inch screen with 1200 by 1920 resolution. This is a first on a tablet on this form factor, says LG. And under the screen, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, aided by two gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes of internal storage can be extended via a micro SD card slot right here up at the top. And while we're here, we should mention that the camera is without an LED flash, but a five megapixel shooter paired with a 1.3 megapixel webcam on the front. Unfortunately, it's not 4.3 and not the upcoming 4.4. It's 4.2.2 Android version running on this. And of course, with LG's own custom UI, which brings a couple of new things. And it also borrows a couple of features from the LG G2. For instance, the knock on and knock off. I cannot demonstrate it because automatically the tablet will play the demo, but you get the idea. Once your tablet is locked, you can double tap to wake it up and double tap to close it. If I'm fast enough, in this case, I am not. Also, the Q app applications, the Q-Memo, the Q-Slide are all known for previous uh, LG products. Q-Pair is also something interesting. You can receive notifications from your phone directly on your tablet. But probably the most interesting feature is Slide Aside, which you know from the LG G2. So for instance, if you fire up Gallery and you swipe with three fingers to the left, you open up, for instance, Calendar, same thing, sliding to the left. And then another application, which could be your email application, slide away to the left. And, uh, well, not this one, but uh, you get the idea. Once you slide back with three fingers, you have your applications and you can, of course, easily tap on uh, whichever you desire. And you can, of course, either click on the X button to kill it or swipe up, which is very WebOS-ish. But now, since LG owns WebOS, we can understand the feature. So this is a very quick look at the LG G-Pad 8.3. I've been Anton, coming to you from IFA LG booth. Michael behind the camera. Thank you very much for watching. Comparison coming up. Stay tuned.